God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. It's my pleasure to come your way through Dynamics on Air. I, I bring greetings to you in the name of Jesus. I want to believe that Dynamics on Air have been a blessing to you, to your family, and probably to your colleagues. I want to say a big thank you for everyone hooking up every Tuesday by midday. Thank you for all of you sending in your comments, your responses, and telling us how much God has used Dynamics on Air to bless you. I want to thank all of you for sending also your testimonies and recommending Dunamis on air to your friends and your loved ones. God bless you. Keep getting involved and your life will never be the same again in Jesus name. Shall we pray? Father in the name of Jesus, thank you for the privilege to bring your presence and your word, your power via this medium Dunamis on air. Thank you for great things you're doing. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, invade everyone that is hooking up right now. Everyone that will be watching this Dunamis on Air video, transform their lives, bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, I have declared. God bless you. We've been on a series of on the Holy Spirit and creation. Holy Spirit and creation. I want to believe that you're learning so much. I want to believe that you are having gaining understanding. I want to believe that your faith is coming alive on the person and the power and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And I want to also believe that this is setting the pace for the miraculous in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. We have established that the Father decides, that the Son does what the Father decides, but the Holy Spirit manifests what the Father decides and what the Son does. The Father is the one that has the will, the Son works on the will of the Father, and then the Holy Spirit manifests the will and the working of the Son. That's why we have the three in one God. This is the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. You can enjoy the works of the, of the Son, the will of the Father, without the person and the power and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is vital in experiencing what the Father does and what the, and what the Father does by the decision or by the workings of the Son. So it's very important you really recognize that you, you can't experience the Word of God, which is the Son of God, without the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And that the Holy Spirit is the force of creation. We have established that the Father decided in the beginning to make the heavens and the earth. But the Son was the one that made the heavens and the earth. And the Holy Spirit manifested what the Father decides and what the Son made. We have also established that the Holy Spirit was a vital part in the creation of man. Last week we saw that God decided, let us make man in our own image. And the Son needed to go and mold man from the dust. And after the Son finished molding man from the dust, Genesis 2 verse 7, He introduced the breath of life. That's the Holy Spirit, and man became a living soul. I've told you that the bread of life is the Holy Spirit. John chapter 20, verse 22. Jesus breathed on his disciples and said, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. So the bread of life is the Holy Spirit. Today we want to continue on that series. The Holy Spirit and creation. The Holy Spirit and creation. In Job chapter 33, verse 4. Job by revelation said, The Spirit of God has made me, and the bread of the Almighty has given me life. The Spirit of the Lord has made me, and the bread of the Almighty has given me life. I told you last, last week, Tuesday, that the Holy Spirit is the force behind life, behind animation. I told you when the bread of life, the Holy Spirit, entered into the body of Adam, the clay, the lifeless body of Adam. Adam came alive. I told you that no matter where you are on the floor, the Holy Spirit can raise you up. Because when the bread of life was introduced, Adam stood up from the floor. I also told you that if the Holy Ghost could turn dust to become a person, there's nothing the Holy Ghost cannot turn you into. It can turn SS to AA, can turn HIV positive to negative, he can turn a barren woman to become a mother of children. He can turn a pauper to become a millionaire. He can turn a sinner to become a saint. It doesn't matter where you are. 
If you have faith in the Holy Spirit and His ministry, He can turn you to a marble. And it's my prayer that in the name of Jesus, receive a turn around by the force of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The eyes of Adam were not working. The ears of Adam were not working. Not, nothing was working in the body of Adam. It was just lifeless. But when the Holy Ghost came, everything began to work. And I told you, whatever is not working, be it your marriage, your ministry, your spiritual life, your career, your business, your academics, your ministry, your spiritual life, whatever is not working, start working when the Holy Spirit is involved. Today, I want us to begin from there. Hallelujah. I, I want to believe that you are enjoying this teaching. I want to believe that the Holy Spirit is opening your eyes to what He can do and to who He is. I want to tell you today that the bread of life, the Holy Spirit, who is the force of creation, is the carrier of the necessities of life. The bread of life, the Holy Spirit, who is the force of creation, he is the carrier of the necessities of life. The blood that Adam needed, the eyes that Adam needed, the ears that Adam needed, the arteries that Adam needed, the capillaries that Adam needed, the bones, the tendon, the ligament, everything that was necessary for Adam to live a normal life was conveyed into him by the bread of life, the Holy Spirit, the creative power. The necessities of life are conveyed into the life of a man, transferred into the life of a man, by the Holy Spirit. Listen and listen attentively. The Holy Spirit can do for you more than speaking in tongues. The Holy Spirit can do for you more than creating eternal life in your spirit. The Holy Spirit can put in your life the necessities of life. Whatever is necessary for you to live a comfortable life, a complete life can be conveyed to you by the Holy Spirit. There are things that are necessary for life. Even the Christian life. The Holy Spirit can transmit it into your life. Are you there and you're paid to marry? And then you've not found a life partner? Marriage is necessary. Don't let anybody deceive you. Are you there and you're married? And you've not yet gotten a child. Don't let anybody convince you that may, maybe that's the will of God for your life. No. Whatever is necessary to live a meaningful Christian life can be transmitted, can be transferred, can be conveyed to you by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the carrier of the necessities of life. One day, Rachel went to Jacob. He said, give me children or I die. Don't forget that Jacob was a loving husband. And Jacob loved Rachel. Jacob will do for Rachel what he will not do for other wife and other children. But that was not enough to satisfy Rachel. She still needed children. So there are things in life that no matter what you have, if you don't have that particular thing, you cannot have fulfillment. That's what I call the necessities of life. And the Holy Ghost can give it to you. Money is a necessity. Money is a necessity, yes. Money is a necessity. Health is a necessity. These are things that you can't buy it from any market. Health is a necessity. You can't buy, there is no doctor that can give you health. Everything that is a necessity for meaningful life can be given to you by the Holy Spirit. If you're born again and you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit can do for you more than speaking in tongues more than salvation the holy spirit can provide for you the necessities of life job said the spirit of the lord has made me the bread of the almighty had given me life the necessities of life can be given to you via the bread of god who is the holy spirit is the creative force you know the story in ezekiel chapter 37 where Ezekiel was taken to the valley of dry bones. These were armies of Israel. They were defeated, they were killed, they decomposed, 
and they be, be they were disembodied all in that skeleton, skeleton and god has ezekiel and these bones live ezekiel said i don't know it god spoke to ezekiel he said prophesy when he prophesied the breath of life the holy ghost came the holy ghost brought bone to bone assembled the bones the holy ghost brought skin the holy ghost brought flesh the holy ghost assembled them back everything that was necessary for that dry bone to become a human being the holy ghost supplied the necessities the holy spirit put blood inside if you read verses 7 to 9 and 10 the bible said that dry bone became exceeding army why because the bread of life the holy spirit contains the necessities of life what is it that you know that if god added to your life it will amplify your fulfillment it will add to the meaning of life in the name that is above every other name jesus i release the bread of the anointing of the holy spirit i release the creative force of heaven let the power of god supply you in the mighty name of jesus the holy spirit is the carrier of the necessities of life he can create those things for you he can bring those things to be in your life and write the thing that you need that is necessary for the christian life i command it given to you right now say amen i command the necessity by the bread of god to overwhelm you overshadow you now in the mighty name of jesus christ also today the holy spirit the creative force of heaven the bread of life is the container for the wisdom of god the eyes were not created in the tools or in the hands when the bread of god entered into the body of adam put the eyes where they ought to be perfectly organized in their proper position the intestines were not twisted the nostrils were not put at the back everything was arranged perfectly and in order the holy spirit is a convert he is very intelligent he's not confused on what to do he's not confused on where to do or what he wants to do he put the nostrils where they ought to be the ears where they want to be the organs where they ought to be the intestine where they ought to be he organized everything perfectly and in order if you are a biological student you will know the anatomy of man is a wonder a wonder even to medical science that's the product of the person and the power of the holy spirit hallelujah if you are born again you are ever privileged because whatever is out of order in your life the holy spirit can put them in their proper place perfectly arranged he's not confused the holy spirit contains the wisdom of god after adam woke up nobody taught him that this is your wife nobody taught him that this is the bone of your bone why because the bread of life taught him that this is the bone of your bone and the flesh of the flesh adam was in deep sleep when they collected the rib but when he woke up he knew exactly what god did why because the wisdom of god was resident in adam hallelujah god tested the capacity of adam's wisdom after he created adam by the bread of life and god brought the animals to adam god has already named the animals in his mind but god gave adam the animal to name and the bible declared that every name that adam gave to the animals that was the name that god has already called them that's super wisdom i de de declare that wherever you're confused in the name of jesus the wisdom of god is bringing you direction the holy spirit is capable of arranging things in their proper place perfectly organized have you ever studied and wondered how the holy ghost knew where the problem the woman with the issue of blood was suffering was located the bible said when that woman touched the body of, or the cloth of jesus the bible said the fountain of our blood dried fountain means the source the power of the holy ghost that was overflowing in the garment of jesus traveled to the source of that problem the root of that problem the holy ghost knew exactly where to arrest the issue of blood from hallelujah many times we are confused 
how to solve our problem. The Holy Ghost is not confused. In Acts chapter 3, when Peter carried the lame man, touched the lame man, the Bible said the ankle bone received strength. The Holy Ghost traveled straight to the ankle bone. That was the source of that man's paralysis. The Holy Ghost is not confused. Only believe him. Only expose yourself to him. Only invite him. He knows what to bring into your life. Who to bring into your life. And your life will be complete again. And you will walk again. He knows who to talk to and they sign that your contract. He knows who to talk to. He knows who to talk to. And they will sign that your visa. He can wake up somebody in the dream. Wake up somebody in the dream. And give him instruction concerning you. Don't fear. Don't doubt God. He has all it takes. And the Holy Spirit is that power of creation. He can create everything you need to live a meaningful life. And He can convey to you the wisdom of God. And put everything in their proper place. Anybody that is disorganized here and you're confused and you're down to nothing. I prophesy that a miracle is about to happen to you now. In the mighty name of Jesus. How do you experience the creative force of the Holy Spirit? Believe in prophetic utterance. Believe in prophetic utterance. And God said, let there be light. The Holy Ghost went to bring light. Ezekiel prophesied, the breath of God came, located the bones. Don't play with prophetic utterance. The utterance from the mouth of the servant of God, they convey life. They convey the breath of life. John 6, 60, 63. The Bible declares that the word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Hallelujah. So every time prophetic utterance goes forth, and you believe it and open your heart the holy spirit is creative force the bread of life goes to work touch the screen right now as i prophesy on you and you believe i see the work of the holy spirit like the value of dry bones going on in your life right now and people that have counted you off yes people that have mocked you and say it's over they are going to be in for a big surprise because god is rewriting your story Father, I prophesy to every Facebook audience right now, all over the world, let the breath of the Holy Ghost, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the creative force of heaven, overwhelm their health, overwhelm their career, overwhelm their decisions, overwhelm their spiritual life, their ministry. I command that the Holy Ghost will invade every disorganized part of your life whatever is out of place whatever is dead i command it to come back to life i prophesy miracle money i prophesy miracle conception i prophesy miracle job i prophesy miracle open door i see revival coming to your spiritual life to your ministry i command divine helpers that you need to end this year well may they begin to locate you and contact you in the name of jesus christ I transfer by the power of the Holy Ghost miracle healing, miracle conception, miracle open door, uncommon favor. I declare that whatever you need that is necessary, that is not there in your life, I create it for you right now. I create a husband for you. I create a job for you. I create a car for you. I create a house for you. Whatever you need to live a complete life, let it be created for you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Say amen for three times. Say I receive. Say amen for three times. Yes, say amen for three times. On that three days, between now and Friday, you will have good news. The doors you lock, you knock before. And they said the door cannot be opened. They will open the door and send for you in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are not born again all over the world, salvation is a prerequisite for enjoying the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Say with me, Jesus, I invite you into my heart. I believe that you are the Son of God. You died for my sins. I accept you. Wash my sins away. Change my life in Jesus' name. If I pray that prayer, I pronounce your sins forgiven and you are a child of God. God bless you. Don't forget, whatever God can do was meant to happen to you and it has already happened as you watch this video in Jesus' name. Same time, same station, Tuesday next week. Call all your friends. Tell us what God is doing. And if you're in the city of Portacot, join us on Sundays, three services, 6.30 in the morning, 8 a.m. in the morning, 9.30 in the morning, powerful anointed services. 
every Thursday we meet 5.30 in the evening. Don't forget my new book. You can order for it online. You too can make it. God bless you. Shalom.